Hi uh, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick review. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the recently released uh, bridges, you know, from Daz 3D. So this, uh, <laughs> I can't say enough how awesome it is, you know, as uh, filmmakers and uh, storytellers, especially as indie filmmakers. I always make that distinction because uh, professional studios might uh, this is not a path they usually take they have teams on in-house they build all their models and everything right but when you have an idea when you have a story that you want to tell i think does 3d uh, is a great resource to start because they have so many good characters and environments that you don't have to be a, a 3d modeler or animator to start with but at least you can have a starting point to get a character that you can then use as a concept that later you can build on into a full-fledged short film or even a full feature when you get funded then you can afford you know to pay for a whole team of animators and 3d modelers yeah so i love using through going through here and especially because I'm, i've worked for a while as an art director and i try to quickly put things together so that i can share with the team what the idea is going to be and so what does 3D has done is that they've created these bridges that can take these models in from DAS 3D to Maya, 3ds Max, Blender, and Cinema 4D. And that is a huge deal, guys, because whereas before you had to import, you know, using a, an FBX or, you know, to bring your character into Max, now you can just go to scripts up at the top here, go to bridges, and then simply send this. You're gonna see how cool it is. You can se send it directly into 3ds Max, Blender, and Maya. I don't, I haven't installed the one for Cinema 4D, but I can show that later on. And uh, in my next tutorial, I'll show, I'll, I'll show you how I use Blender for this part. But today I'm gonna be doing the DAS uh, to 3ds Max, and also show a little bit of uh, Octane okay so this is the character that i picked for our test today he's uh called the dweller hd character and he's really scary <laughs> uh he's a great uh like character that you can use in like sci-fi you know short film like you know imagine like an interest it's green grungy and green and glowy you know this would be that like make a good character for that so we're going to take this character into 3ds max now the way you get the plugin is simply get it for free you know get started for free and click on that and make sure you logged in and then download it and install it onto your computer so it it doesn't take much for this to happen but watch the process i'm not gonna speed up this video i want you to see how it works from beginning to end okay so here we go first you download the plugins install them and they will show up in the scripts up here in your does studio i'm using does studio 4.12 yeah 4.12 pro so let's do it so let's click on does to 3ds mark here And it's going to go through the process it prepares you know the materials and actually what i should have done <laughs> i should have turned off my ira uh, that's a mistake i made because it takes a little bit longer when that is on so just keep that in mind that make sure you turn off your ira before you you ex, uh, export and uh, let me see if i can actually cancel this because i want you to see how long it takes without uh, IRA being active. All right, I've turned off IRA. Uh, let's go through the same process again. And uh, so here is the character. Make sure it, uh, the character is selected in the scene view. Uh, so ready? So we've got script, bridges, does to 3ds Max. You click on that. And this is with the, <laughs> the IRA turned off. Uh, that's a mistake I made earlier on. And I've seen this enough times to know it takes a while if you don't turn off uh, IRA. So make sure it, your IRA is turned off. 
and you see how long it took it's, it took seconds now this might be impacted by how fast my machine is uh, so on your depending on what machine you have it might take a little bit longer but you saw how long it took it didn't take very long on my machine so we go over to 3ds max and the way after it's installed uh, the way you, there are two ways to uh, access the plugin so you can press X on the keyboard and this search will come up and type in does to max right another way is for you to go to customize up at the top customize user interface yeah and under the the main UI create a new uh, a new uh, toolbar and we just call it does to max click OK so it will create a new little you know tab right here that you can put up on the top and then look for search for look for does to max it's gonna be da does to max let me find it does to max and then drag and drop it there right so now you, whenever you open your 3ds max file or rather your session it will be here and you can drag it and put it up at the top i've already put it on mine up at the top here so go ahead and click on that and then click on auto import this is the crazy part because i thought it was going to be take a long time but watch what happens and if you have v-ray i mean you can do the conversion of the materials when the time comes and also once the scene comes in you can save the scene because it, it's going to put it in the temporary uh temp folder before you save it so make sure you don't close your marks make sure you you save the scene so that the textures can be put in the folder where it, it, the file is going to be so we click on auto import and it, it gives you an, a, a reminder this will replace current scene are you sure yes I, i'm very sure click on that and then watch how long it takes for this to come in yeah and again depending on how detailed the character is like if the character has uh, hair shoes and clothing uh, it might take a little bit longer this character that i picked uh, is just uh, like one body really because it's uh, like an alien dude <laughs> I don't, I don't think he came from Mars or he came from with his suitcase or something but he's semi you know empty like he has no clothing he's naked so give it a chance to process and it didn't take very long I mean this is the cool thing about this uh, plugin and you can imagine this is gonna be in Maya uh, this you're taking this to Maya to Cinema 4D and to Blender and so look what it did so now we have a character in the scene that comes with a, uh, a rig. It's fully rigged. This is the coolest part about this, guys. So watch this. I'm going to press the move bar. This is an, an, a, a cool rig, you know, like fully rigged. Whereas if you import it as an FBX file, you won't have these controls. Like, yes, you have the skeleton, but you won't have the, the rig like you have it here. This is what's so cool about this. You know look at that look look at that you know fully rigged the blend shapes uh I'm sorry the weight mapping is looking great so that's why i highly highly recommend that you use this ducks to max does to maya does to blender does to cinema 4d plugin because you're able to use this and you know what this the rig is is not the biped rig that is in 3s max it actually is the cut rig so it converts it into a cut rig that you can then animate with a walk cycle running uh path following and all that and i'll do a different uh, tutorial for that but for to, for now i just wanted to point out how cool this plugin is does to 3ds max bridge this is awesome this is awesome because this makes it possible to bring all your characters from da studio into 3ds max and i think let me do a quick check oh wait first we have to save the scene so save scene with the textures and i'm gonna put i'm just gonna do like a demo folder here and we'll call it a test 
and we'll give it a name does to max test there's wrong and save so it's gonna save all the textures into that folder and after it saves everything and you can see the process down here uh, towards the taskbar the file is gonna all the that's needed for this particular model is now in that folder and you can go ahead and close this because you don't need it anymore and you can even close does because you don't need does anymore but you can mean save this scene in case you need to re-import it after you apply the different textures in case you have like you want to have multiple versions of the of the character and so now that it is in max let's see what it looks like i'm gonna use octane and normally i start with uh, creating a camera so first let's see we'll click on this guy uh, zoom into it zoom to extends so like focusing on that and then I go create cameras uh, create standard camera from view all right now I have a camera and then I can actually go back up uh, go to select select camera and we can change the lens to like 200 millimeters let's pull back a little bit yeah so this is our scene now okay now let's see what it looks like in uh octane so go up here on the render setting setup i'm gonna switch from scan line to octane 2020 and the cool thing about 2020 uh there was a time when you had to convert the materials of every scene that that was that you opened but now it actually recognizes standard materials that are on any character so what's neat so if i click on open the view tab or rather the render the viewport and let me switch to perspective zoom out and let's create a light i'm going to use a octane daylight and bring it from the front and move it up all right now we can go straight to we can actually switch to our camera all right so as you can tell there are still some issues here because we need to convert the materials and just go ahead and click on convert all again i'm gonna just let it run so you can see how long it takes All right, so it has converted the materials to octane materials and right now oh so this is where the look dev comes in and that's the beauty of uh octane is that that's why i love it is that now i can start beautifying this shot okay so now i can zoom in and you can see the teeth right there all right so after i'm done i mean this is i can always go further to edit the the texture like i know for the skin for sure it needs a little bit more glossiness but this is a cool thing about uh the plugin and i hope it uh, it helps you navigate i think in my next uh, video i'll try to show you how i'm able to refine the texture because if it, this is what it looks like by default uh we need to you need to see how it actually looks in the final 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 look all right guys uh, i hope that was helpful please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when i post a new video and uh again i hope that uh, this inspires you to you know venture out and uh ex you know export your characters from no send your characters from das uh studio to max using the 3ds max das to 3ds max bridge uh, thank you so much and see you next time next time i'll show you how i was able to beautify this shot and uh, added some animation uh, see you next time thank you so much guys